No, that's not good enough. No, that's too good. <laughs> no. Too much nudity. This will have to go to my OnlyFans. Oh! Hello there, guys, and welcome to the second installment of The Road to Gold and Demon. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want to drink, and I hope you enjoy this one. What? What with all the judging looks? Have you never seen a content creator that has all the branded shirts in the laundry? Hello guys and welcome to the live stream. Um, I, I hope you appreciated that little intro that I recorded previously. Um, I'm trying to up my game here a little bit. So welcome to the live stream, welcome to uh, the second part of the uh, Speed Seer project of the Road to the Golden Demon, even if I'm probably not even going to take part in the end, I'm not even sure if there, if there is going to be a Golden Demon for the UK, but we are here nonetheless. And I have a lot of oils, I have all that I need, my glass palette from Redgrass, my tubs of uh, thinner, a ton of brushes, uh, disposable synthetics and that kind of stuff. Some Q-tips here, I have some sponges for the <laughs> cleaning up the base and I have a ton of oil paints in front of me. I'm going to use uh, Abtelum paints for this session just because I have. Uh, they are very convenient, they are cheap, they come in uh, smaller sizes than you can get from uh, high quality artist paints and I think it's generally a very good range for miniature painting. Uh, at least the color selection seems to be pretty good and uh, I'm going to go through all the colors that I have here I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all, but I will go through them So I have uh, magenta I have copper oxide blue I have uh, faded navy blue Dark mud uh, Gundam blue this one is ochre and shadow brown. This is paints gray. Intense blue. Black. Oh, sorry. Dead flesh. Buff. Yellow. White. Red primer, which is just red basically. Earth, Burnt Amber, Raw Amber, and the last three here are Light Sand, Light Grey, and Light Mud. So um, I'm, I'm going to try to recreate the cover for the Janten, um Craft World uh, Codex. From, I, I, I think it's 5th edition, but I'm not sure. And I'm going to uh, start now. So. Let me grab the artwork so I have a reference. I have it in my screen right now, but you won't be able to see it. There we go. So this is it more or less what I'm going to try to recreate. Here we go. It's a bit big, but I'm going to, the, the, the idea here um, is trying to block the main areas of color. We have some blue here. The, this is not in the picture, but there's some uh, oranges here, some ochres here, and then there's a little bit of a blur. It can be a little bit of a mix. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to block all those colors, like fully cover everything. And then I'm going to uh, start playing and mixing them uh, on the on the on the model itself. That's the idea, basically. And first, before I before I get going, I want to talk about a bit uh, about trying new things. And uh, for me, when you try new stuff, the most important thing is to um, to set yourself for success in your first tries because you can be discouraged if you if you don't. You can you can you can feel like you failed. So I did all that I that I could to uh, set myself for success here. So. This is a very simple uh, painting. This has nothing on it that it's uh, weird or that it's um, uh, defined, it's very blurry. It's just uh, 
colors blocked in. Uh, it's also using oil paints for the uh, for the purpose that they have been used for thousands of years, which is painting up something flat. Um, I'm also going to paint the base, by the way. Um, but yeah, so I I tried to and and did my best, so I don't so I have the easiest time possible here. That's the idea, at oh. least. So why don't we start blocking colors? I'm going to start with the base, uh, which I'm going to try and follow uh, James Wobble's method, which is doing a thin glaze of different colors. I'm going to use uh, like a black or a gray or a, or, a, or a dark gray for the rocks. I'm going to use a dark brown for the for the rest, and then I'm going to wipe it off and start painting. And I will also uh, start base coating the background. So let's do this. So let's see. We have quite a big crowd today, 57 people, which is uh, pretty, uh, which is a lot for me. Uh, I'm not going to lie. So thank you all very much for being here. I think I'm going to start with this shadow brown, just to try and mix a color that suits well. Oh, maybe a bit too much shadow brown there. I'm also going to put a bit of black there so I can mix it. Oops, there's a lot of oil paints in my hands. <laughs> Be careful with this, because you can make a mess of everything. There you go, should be enough. A little bit of black. Right there. I'm going to put maybe something like light mud, which if you see more or less fits the highlight color here, oh sorry about that, the highlight color, it seems pretty pretty spot on, so I'm going to put light mud in there for later on, there you go, light mud. I'm also going to put a little bit of paints gray on my palette, there you go, paints gray, lovely color, paints gray, super useful. By the way, I want to talk about. Um, I'm a bit frustrated with uh, with Uptailing and AK in general for not promoting this better. Uh, they make a set which I think is the perfect starting set for oil paints, and they are not promoting it as such. They're just the the name is something uh, preposterous like um, base al color alteration set. Let me uh, show you which paints you get in that set. You get magenta, you get yellow, you get blue, you get white, you get black, and you get paints gray. So basically, the perfect starting set. You have the three primary colors, which you can mix. You have to, to get almost everything. You have black and white, so you can change the value. And you, have, and you get paints gray, which is a super useful wash for almost everything and they are not promoting it. They should sell this as your basic oil set. Like, start here, 101 set, this is what you want to buy. It's also um, another frustration of mine is they sell you paint in sets, but they don't add any uh, pamphlet in it to show you what you can do with them, a little demonstration. I know that they are trying to, that um, oils are usually uh, marketed towards uh, experienced painters, but anyway, why not add a little bit of pamphlet? Uh, SK75 does it, Vallejo does it, do it, and I'm sure more people will jump the boat and try uh, new stuff with this. So yeah, uh, AK, step up your game, please. Let's see, we have, I'm going to put uh, white in here as well, so we can mix a gray, basically. There's no one yet, there's no white. Basically, so I can mix a gray color uh, for the rocks, which I'm going to mix with uh, black, paints, gray, and white, possibly. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of light gray, uh, but th that will be later. I'm going to start with the rocks. So first, first ever dab into oils. Let's see how this goes. Well, it's not the first, 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 because I, I, I did some I use them for washes when I did uh, when I used to do uh, 
models I used to do, air, aircraft models, which, well, there you go, back in a very, in, like a very long time ago, <laughs> I used to do, uh, I liked uh, planes a lot, basically, World War II planes. So I have my two con uh, thinners, uh, thinner pots. One is for dirty paints, one is for um, clean paints. Uh, this is a bit dirty because I used it to do a wash with an enamel uh, a bit later, a bit um, a couple of days ago. Oh, it's a lot of content. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of blood you're feeling well. Uh, Sorry if I'm if I'm missing all your comments. I I will try to go through them. I promise. Yeah. Uh, for bloody G, which which comments? What is the benefit of a glass palette over a wet palette? Well, in this case, it's because it's oil, so you can't use um, you can't really use a you can't really use a a wet palette because well, they are oils. I'm going to little bit, bit, mix a little bit of this shadow brown here with a little bit of black. I'm going to thin it down with thinner so we have a little thinner consistency so we can make that glaze that um, our our friend James Walpole is always talking about. It's basically just add some thin color. There you go. Let's start with this. Just going to go all around this. Try not to hit the rocks because the rocks will be other color. And then I will wipe it off uh, with no thinner. That's the idea, basically. You wipe it off with a completely dry sponge or a, or a Q-tip and you remove almost all the excess, but you leave a super thin layer of, of oil on top of the of the paints on top of the model so you can basically um, work wet on wet which is the idea here sorry if you if i put this in angle that you can't see anything and just try not to hit the rocks with this too much so the rocks are a bit more grayish But yeah, this is for oil paints. Uh, I think it's. I thought it was clear in the description that this. I, I will be working with oil paints exclusively in this session. And I'm going to use uh, the two brushes method. So one set of brushes will be always wet. The other will be oh sorry. The other will be always dirty. The idea here is is. Uh, I know people can do both at the same time, but I'm not a pro, so I'm not even going to to try. Using also synthetic brushes, because I don't care if they get destroyed, they're cheap. So I'm going to mix a dark, very dark gray for the rocks, a little bit of paints gray, a little bit of, of blue, a little bit of white. happy with that. I will probably use some pigments afterwards over this. Um, I'm going to modulate this quite a lot later on, a bit more black. Yeah, Paints gray is super intense, so be careful with that. I just realized how intense that is. To thin this down, a little bit more black. Gisamaluk 2, uh, the name of the set is Base Color Altering Set, which is stupid. So, yeah. Base Color Altering Set is the set that they sell, that I think it's the perfect set if you want to start with oils because it's 
it's something like eight euros or something like that. I cannot maybe it's more. Maybe it's like thirteen euros. They think that all their sets are like thirteen euros or something like that. And it's it's just it's just perfect. It's just fantastic. So for thirteen euros, you have all the paints that you will need if you don't mind mixing. Uh, which, if you are going to play with oils, you really shouldn't. It's part of the of what using oils is. And then just grabbing some paints, uh, some useful browns like raw amber, burnt amber, burnt sienna, those kind of colors that you can find in any art shop, uh, will just give you all of the colors that you may possibly want. Maybe grab some intense reds like single pigments reds and yellows that's extremely useful too, just because it is going to be much, much brighter than what you can get with the, um, with the mixes. So if you want to splash some, some money, if you, if you feel like just uh, showing off a little bit, you can use something like cadmiums, reds and yellows be aware they are very toxic but you are not going to leak them they're oils anyway so um maybe a good opportunity but be aware that they are very expensive if you think gw paints are expensive uh, don't look too much into artist oils or artist grade paints because you're going to be surprised so yeah a tube of high quality cadmium paint may be something in the range between 30 and 50 euros depending on the quality so yeah for a single tube of paint. It's probably a tube of paint that is going to last you for your whole lifetime. More than probably. <laughs> but it's still, there's probably not something that you want to be buying if you're new and you're not sure what you're doing. There are very good reds, some naphtal red you can get, which is pretty much all you want. I'm going to add a bit more black because I I overdid the, the, the paints gray into the mix and I lost all my black. Uh, I don't do oils myself, but do you have to varnish bef first before going in, uh, to oils? No, uh, oil, oil, oil paints and oil solvents won't touch acrylic paint. Look, this is solvent, pure solvent here. It does nothing to it. I'm going to clean it because I don't want that there, but it's too dirty. Let me just clean that up. It won't touch acrylic paint. It's it's just different solvents, completely different. So they they don't work like that. So you can just um, you can just put them on top of um, normal normal paint and it's 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 of of normal acrylic paint and it's it's going to be all right. So I'm going back to the brown, picking up some spots that I missed. I'm going to put some pure black here in the center. I'm going to try to clean this brush very well because it's completely dirty. So I'm going to try and extract everything from here before I move into the lighter background colors. Well, just in case I'm going to grab another brush. <laughs> I have plenty of brushes. I'm not going to These are all new by the way, new brushes. Uh Mitha Paint says if you want to apply acrylics over dry oils, then you need to varnish. That's not sadly true. If you leave them to fully cure, you can apply acrylics over it without any varnish at all. But if they are not fully cured, you can run into issues. So yeah, um, a little bit of a mix, yes and no uh, kind of uh, question here. But 
but yeah, uh, if you if you don't want to wait like several days, the a good practice is to just varnish. Yeah, and it says yeah, uh, sources Marco Fisoni, James Wapol, and Dimitri Francesco, which is which are yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much what you want to be looking at uh, if you go into oils. So now next go, I'm going to pick up the coral, some blue, uh, some ochres, um, some yellows, and some. Um, paints grey and I'm going to map out the background basically going with intense blue here this is intense blue I'm going to put some of this faded navy blue here just in case I want something darker I'm probably going to use this instead of the intense blue Kind of fits better what I, what what I'm going to do. This is some dead flesh, which I'm also going to put here. Oops, I'm so clumsy. You would you you guys wouldn't believe how how absolutely clumsy I am. I'm the clumsiest man in the world. This is some buff. And yeah, uh, what 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 Nakos is also true. Um, if you want to paint um, over acrylics with with oils, you can. You don't need to varnish, but if you varnish, it's going to um, provide different effects. So depending on if you do a gloss varnish and then do oils, it's going to clean uh, easier. Or, off of the surfaces which you may want or you may not want is very good for washes but it's not maybe not good for things like um, this kind of of painting you may want a, a matte surface which is which uh, gets tinted easier i'm going to add some ochre here too Just a little bit of ochre there Sorry about that, I just hit the, the mic with my hand. And we have for the orange here, I think some magenta will do the work mixed with some yellow, which I'm also going to put some yellow there. Magenta there. Oh, thank, thank you, Sarnikan. I really appreciate you like the background music. A lot of people compliment me for the background music that I use in all my videos. Um, I really like it. I found it when I was um, looking for a background for the sculpting videos because I didn't uh, say a single word in those videos. So I needed something uh, that was pleasing to listen to for a very long time. Without getting um, without getting uh, tired of it, so I'm going to mix this with maybe a little bit of dead flesh, and I'm going to put this into this side here. Oops! Oh crap! <laughs> I'm going to block the main areas of color here. Seems about right. A little bit of this grey around this area here. I need to get a better. Um, I need to get a better with uh, my my two pots. Um, discipline because <laughs> i'm a bit of a mess so this is light gray and just going to spread it all over the top of the of the of the background here sorry we hit some kid laughing it's just my kid i hope it doesn't bother you but if it does well bad luck i guess Oh, 98 people watching. This this must be a record. 
People really like painting live streams, I guess. Okay. Into brush. I'm going to start adding some ochres. Let's see, mix with some light flesh. Maybe a bit of yellow too, so it's more intense. There you go. Yeah, that seems about right, doesn't it? This goes about this a little bit here. There is a lot of this here, with some pure ochre about there. Some more yellow into this. Yeah, there you go, that's it. Some more light flesh. And a little bit of blue into this to get some greener hues, which go through this place here. Can you, did you just... Just kind of play with this a little bit. There you go. So you, let me just grab this so you can see what I'm seeing. You see the kind of tint. Then I will add more hues, but and 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 refine all these shapes of colors and so on. But for now, I'm just blocking in the main, the main stuff. to wipe this off There's too much ochre in there Give them a little bit more of this light flesh I'm just going to pick it up from here there you go Uh, yeah, um, that this is a fully de dedicated uh, oil oil paints palette. Some more of these ochres around here. I'm going to mix a little bit of this magenta with a little bit of this yellow to get some oranges and some reds. That's the trick if you want to get oranges and reds with. Without red, it just makes magenta and yellow. That's basically it. I'm going to paint the... To wipe this off, too much of the other stuff in there. There you go. Some nice oranges. We have some oranges in here on this part of the, of the, of the painting. There you go. Something like this. And now I'm going to blend all of this together. And then I'm going to refine stuff. I'm going to clean the brush first just out of you know maybe i'm just too used to this all the time but i'm going to clean my brush okay i'm going to take something dry and soft so i can blend all of this I have a lot of brushes around here i think this will do this is a rosemary large smooshing brush and I think this is going to do just fine. This is completely dry. I'm just going to blend everything together so I get like a uniform look into this. I'm wiping the brush if I need to change from one area of color to the other. And once this is all mixed in and, and all nice and I will add more refining. I will start planning the colors better. At least that's the idea, isn't it? Uh, no, um, the Golden Demon Companion, I'm not rich, so <laughs> I cannot go to the USA, sorry about that. I wish I could, uh, something that I really, really would like to, but no, I'm I'm not going to the, to the Adapticon because I honestly cannot afford it. I really cannot afford it. <laughs> I wish I could, but I cannot. So a smaller brush, I'm going to blend the background and the and the lower part so it's a seamless transition. There you go. 
looking pretty good and happy with that. Um, I'm not in the US, so uh, no, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I wish I, I, I said I was going to say I wish I lived in the US, but that's not really true. I like where I live. Uh, but I, this is if there is a golden demon in the UK, I will I will surely go there. But I'm not sure if it's going to be. I'm not sure if it's going to be. Okay, so the background is now basically mapped. I'm going to clean the the base now here. Some sponges. I may go into with some um, with some Q-tips as well. The parts that I can reach. On sponge then. <laughs> Let's move into the Q-tips here. Yeah, Chris the Leper says, I'm hoping to get to the UK Golden Demon this year. I hope it goes ahead. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's going to go ahead. I really, I'm, I'm really not sure if it's going to go ahead. The problem is uh, the UK and has much, much strict, uh, strict measures about COVID than the US, I'm, guess I'm guessing. So it's probably easier to do it in the... In the... Uh, in the UK, in the US, and it's going to be in the UK. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to go ahead, honestly. I hope it is, but I'm not sure. Well, anything that's done, I'm going to base cut some of the uh, brown areas. I'm going to use some light mud. I think this was light mud. Here, here, and here. Some splashes of this color. I'm going to add to my palette some burnt amber. I want something that it's more brown. There you go. That seems about right for me. Going to add this into the mid tones. I'm not sure how. Uh, how much I'm going to do in this live stream because I may need to let this dry and to do another layer but the idea is to have it as finished as possible so yeah Nako I had problems with Q-tips leaving fibers in the open it can happen but you can remove them pretty easily so I'm not sure how much of an issue that that might be I'm going to grab an old sable brush here this is a very old very much destroyed sable brush the Kolinsky brush and just going to use this to blend the browns in into the base basically yeah, I'm going to add a bit more of this brown here there you go wipe it off and blend it. I'm probably doing a lot of things wrong or not as well as others, but again, remember this is my first time with oil paints, so um, apart from using them for for washes, that is to say, as I said before. But yeah, right now I'm really loving it. This is a super relaxed way of painting, uh, like extremely relaxed. This is. Like, uh, 
you just you just mix in into the into the model no worries yeah, so loving it right now i have a project that i'm going to paint fully with with oils and i'm going to try not to use any acrylics whatsoever uh kind of something some uh very james wapple style as opposed to uh, using acrylics as a base and then as a final highlight i'm going to try to do it all with oils i have a very special mini for that which i cannot show you because i'm not allowed to but once once I'm allowed to, I'm going to announce it because it's going to be awesome. I will probably record that one to make it a video tutorial on how to use oils or my um, tips on using oils for miniature painting, but yeah. Uh, ben Hagee, are you using all old brushes uh, with the oil, so we use some rosemary and clean them after use. No, I'm going to use all old brushes. I have some uh, synthetics, I have some sables, which is very old, but it's going to do the job. So if I want some smoother blends, I will use this and so on and so forth. Yeah, if you leave, if you have some dust speckles and, so, and that kind of stuff, you can clean them all pretty well. But right now, this has been, I don't know, like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and we already have a pretty decent background, if I'm honest. I'm going to pick up some of this um, light gray, which I double into the rocks, just just a little bit, like a fall onto the rocks. There go. There's some right there. Wipe the brush off, blend it. This is the first pass of uh, highlights and blends. But yeah, this is this is this is fun. If someone, if you are uh, in doubt as to pick up oil so or not, if you feel like it's not for you, uh, try them. They're super fun. Fantastic resources now uh, in, in uh, now be naming in the chat by Tad C. So I I will I will go and take a look at those. I didn't know them. I know the others, uh, Marco of course, uh, and and the, and James obviously because James has been here <laughs> like forever. Um, James Wapple has been. Has been YouTubing before YouTubing was cool. It's a monster that that man can. I feel like when I when I watch his videos, uh, kind of feels like like you like if you blink, you're going to miss something. I I remember several times that I just maybe pick up the phone to answer an email or just uh, answer a message or something. Then going back to the video, and I was like, what the hell just happened there? Completely different mini. Yeah. James is a James is a monster of of YouTube and of painting in general. The guy is like a dark magician. Yeah. Sony can hold you becoming the Bob Ross of Mitro painting. That's a fantastic compliment. I love that. But isn't that said about absolutely every single person in YouTube doing miniature painting? I've heard that uh, said about um, about uh, Goober as well. So I would pick that with a grain of salt, but I really appreciate it. I hope you can see well what I'm doing. I'm just uh, basically blending a basic blend onto the background, onto the uh, base here. 
I will add a ton of pigments over this, I'm not really concerned about this being perfect, but I'm really, really happy with how this is looking. 123 people watching, thank you all for being here, I really appreciate it. It's, we, are, we are breaking records here, breaking records. So that's fantastic. I'm going to add a little bit of this cold grey into my highlights. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I'm going to just double some more highlights here. I don't want to over highlight the base. Again, I'm going to double the, I'm going to just smother this with pigments at some point. So I'm not really, really too much concerned about, I won't, I'm not very concerned about this looking perfect. Go, blend this in. In. This is a lot of fun. Surprisingly fun. I'm going to add a bit more of that light blue into my palette. What's the light blue? Where are you? The light gray. Where's the light gray? This is, yeah, this is. I say that because of the oil painting, your common personality. I don't think Goober has the same presence, no offense of him. No, Goober is great. I, I love what he does. Uh, to be fair, I don't follow that many uh, miniature painters not because i i think the, what they do is it's it's bad or anything it's just that um i'm just not uh i i i basically paint all the all during all week i i spend a ton of time doing videos so when i'm when I'm relaxing, I just don't want to watch miniature painting videos. <laughs> I follow, I follow uh, very closely Richard Gray because he's um, amazing. Uh, Vince because Vince is just, you know, Vince. Um, I also about miniature painting. Who else? I follow like I watch every single video. Um, I think that's it, basically. That, that, that I watch every single video. I watch videos from everyone, but that I watch every single video, I think probably just Vince and Richard Gray at this at this point in time. I will make a video about the small YouTube channels uh, very soon. Uh, I'm, I said this in the previous live stream in the Q&A, but I keep going back and forth with what I want to do with that video. So, um, yeah. I will I will figure it out at some point and I will <laughs> and I will and I will sit down and sit down and do it but for the time being I'm just I'm just I don't know I had a, a an, an initial idea then I changed my mind um, then I had another idea then I changed my mind and wasn't happy with the with the script or, or, or with with the general topic of the video you know uh, sometimes th things like that happen Sergio Calvo and Alfonso, Alfonso Giraldez Banshee have some great stuff. Yeah, they are. I mean, like, you cannot get more top, uh, more top tier than those than those two guys, really. So I said I was going to use this two brush method, but I honestly, I cannot be bothered. So I'm just going to dry this brush off, and wipe off any paint from it. Just going to use the same brush for blending. It kind of works better for me. I'm. I'm 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 not the I'm not the tidiest person. Let's just say it like that. So I'm I'm super clumsy. 
and and I don't think the, the you have to be very I feel like you have to be very um, very tidy if you want to use the several brushes and I'm not tidy I'm, I'm super messy I'm one of the messiest persons <laughs> you will ever find I'm clumsy and messy as all as all hell A lot of people telling me that this is was wasn't going to be like um, intuitive for me, but I think they are wrong. I think this is super intuitive for a way of painting. Super intuitive. And to pick up another brush, uh, smaller, softer. There you go. Another crappy, um, destroyed um, sable brush. So I can blend smaller, basically. I having the trouble. I have. I, I was having an issue where I couldn't blend small highlights. So I'm going to go very, very small here. This is uh, red grass two zeros. It's absolutely destroyed. To be, I I love most of what red grass do, but the brushes are not. Uh, they're just not not good enough, if you ask me. But the but the the matte is great. The oil palette is great. I love that it fits into the palette. And I can just put um, the lid on it and not worry about anything. That's fantastic. Uh, I don't hear you very concerned with thick or thin paint during this trial. No, uh, you shouldn't be with with oil paints. You shouldn't be concerned. It's not a thing. Uh, you have to apply the paint thick and then smooth it out, spread it out onto the mini. Just don't be concerned because there is nothing to be concerned when you're using oil paints. That's something that has to be with, has to be, uh, con you have to be concerned if you're using uh, acrylics, but oils, no, just, just that's not a thing. Most of the paint you're using is just straight up from the tube. And yeah, that, that is also true, uh, you have to, if you want to put a highlight and you want it to stay there, you have to use thicker paint, otherwise it's not going to show. And you can edge highlight as you've seen there, I was just edge highlighting that piece of rock. You use thick paint and it looks pretty good, look at that. That's zero effort for now. I'm going to add a bit of brown, maybe a bit of brown here, onto the underside like shadow areas I'm going to wipe the brush off I'm going to mix a bit of shadow brown and this I think that was burn amber I'm just going to apply some brown hues onto the rocks as well Wipe the brush and blend it all, and there you go. Instant blends. That's the magic of oil paints. Is it's blending is not an issue. Blending is something that just happens. It, it just yeah. with with acrylic paints, your main concern is always smooth blends, getting your blends right. Uh, that's not that's not an issue with with oil paints. With oil paints, just blending is something that just happens, and you are just there alone for the ride, basically. Wiping the brush. Blending the highlights. I'm sure I need to practice this more because I'm I'm starting to see where I might need more practice. But all in all, really happy. This seems this is a lot of fun. Again, just adding more brown hues into the rocks, uh, so we have a more interesting looking rocks than just grey. Oh, thank you. I really like. This is just the initial sketch. But yeah, pretty. Pretty happy with it, if I'm honest. I need to 
work some more blues into this area and uh, more grays into here and then going to add all those swirly white patterns around but uh, slowly slowly but surely Yeah, James. James thins his 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 oils. I might do that, but I, honestly, I like the the convenience of the of not having to do that because it, I've seen his videos about that, and it's just so so messy. <laughs> and I'm I'm already messy enough. I don't want to be um, doing too much of that. Going to add a bit more highlights into some of the rocks. Wiping the brush. So to remove any of the pigment and then blend everything. Yeah, much better now. Funny enough, when I work with with acrylics, I, I like a larger brush, but here I kind of like in the use of a smaller brush better. So yeah, things that you have to learn by use, I guess. Oh, um, Ironhead uh, asking where can I get a miniature stand like that? This is Frontaro Model Maker indeed, yeah. I added a little bit of section here uh, with, with some plastic art. It wasn't tall enough for me. But yeah, Taro Model Maker, if you Google that, you get into the web page for sure. And they, this is amazing quality. This is a casted resin, fantastic quality piece. I'm really happy with that with that purchase. I wish I ordered a couple more. <laughs> I was it was just trying essentially to see if I liked uh, what they what they offered, and yeah, I did. So, blending a couple more of the rocks, the highlights a little bit. That's the that's the best thing I feel like. You do a, a chunky edge highlight, then you just can blend blend it into a super thin edge highlight with this, super useful, very nice. And yeah, liking this, this thinner brush better for this kind of detail work than the larger one, which is 100% opposite to what I like for, um, for me, for acrylics. Going to add a bit more shadows there.
much better now. That's not bad for that small amount of time, and I'm, I'm sure I'm not the fastest with, with oils. I'm going to thin this light mod a bit. There you go, it seems about right. I'm going to add some highlights around this. Clean this and I'm going to try to smooth it out with other brush. Maybe maybe this one. Another old sable brush. Yeah, um, as as a statsy which really knows his oils very well. If you apply th uh, unthin oils, it's going to uh, take a, a lot of time to dry. So the thinner they are, the faster they will cure, essentially, not not really drying. But that being said, up till um, have less oil in them than the normal acrylics, so they kind of dry faster. I'm not sure if that's if that's true, but they they do advertise them as faster than than all those to 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 dry. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking gloves <laughs> would be a good idea here. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to see why people wear gloves when painting uh, with oils. It, I'm. I'm seeing this as getting really, really messy. Seems we also have some bots in here <laughs> commenting uh, nonsense. Just tell me, guys, if you are bothered by the by the by the bots, I will just ban them. Then right now, just can't be bothered. Mixing now a little bit of white into that uh, light gray to add just a teeny tiny bit more of highlights. Thank you. 
So the base, I'm I'm happy with it. It's just, damn, that piece of paper is going to end me. Grab a new one. Just trying to fix it secure into the table so it doesn't fall all the time. There you go. That should now stay in place, hopefully. Let's put it, it here under the pallet. There you go. Let's hope that stays in place and doesn't move. Filippo skin his half. I tried the spade, uh, the the spade paint by Army Painter. No, I haven't. Um, they just contacted me if it, to ask me if I wanted to try them, and I said yes. So I will at some point. But for now, no. They they still have to send them to me and and so on. So it may take a while to for them to get here. So now let's. Take a look. I think I need, I need some more blues into that space down there. So I'm going to. Um, this now is going to get, yeah, there you go. I think I'm going to use this brush here. Clean it well. There you go. Much better. I'm going to take a bit of this blue with some of this dead flesh. Some of this intense blue. Yeah, it seems about right. A little bit of this yellow as well. This ochre a bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Yeah, that looks pretty nice to me. I'm going to add a bit more of this blue into this side here. Like this. And maybe a little bit of black into the ochres. Yeah, seems about right. Right here. Yeah, more or less that color. Um, you kind of need, with oil paints, I'm, I'm, I feel, you need to understand color and how it mixes because it's 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 integral because you're mixing paints on the model, so you need to understand what is going to happen. So yeah. Yeah, I'm. I am using uh, Aptilum oils. Yes. Just because they are very convenient. I said this at the at the start. They are super convenient. Oh, this is too big and too messy. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm looking at the picture now. Look at that. Oops. Oh. <laughs> what an idiot. Look at that. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. That's starting to look 
that is starting to look proper now. Uh, yeah, careful what you do. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Let me clean this up so I don't mess my table. Ah. Oh. Should be that should be it. <laughs> yeah, make oil brushes. Yeah, they are awesome. I have a couple of them uh, that they send me with uh, free orders, and yeah, they are pretty awesome. They they just they are pre-thinned uh, oils basically. Have I have these two? They came they came for free. Uh, this is. Uh, I know the color, I can't cut. Earth and red tile. Very useful, very nice. You can, I hope you can hear. They are liquid, so they are pretty thin and very convenient, very nice. They come with a little brush. Look at that. They come with a little brush, very useful. In fact, it's just, why don't we try it? Um, this is very nice hue for this part around here. And I'm going to add it into the uh, base, just how it, how, where it meets. There you go. Why not? Why not? I have it. So let's try it. I'm going to use a clean brush to blend that brown in. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. I'm happy with that. I might add a little bit of yellow into this. Yeah, I like that. Starting to look really good. So Gangre Pouchot, I guess that's the name. Can we achieve that kind of look with, uh, with miniature acrylic paints? You can do this with acrylics. But you cannot mix it. I mean, like, there's a ton of blending here, which this is very easily done with oils, but it can be so hard to do with normal acrylics just because you will have to blend all of this. But yes, this this 100% can be done with with acrylics. Look at that. For example, that blend uh, would be a nightmare to blend all of these colors around there, but it's super easy with with oils. I'm going to move this. It's a oh, teeny tiny bit of dust, I think it is, down there. So yeah, just pick up the dust and just take it away. This is super dusty room, which is not ideal for what I do here, but it's just what it, it's just what it, what it, what it is. I cannot choose. Yeah, starting to look very, very, very nice, if you ask me. Very close to the picture itself. I'm very happy with that. I think I'm going to add a little bit of white in just in the middle, just behind where the figure would sit, something like this. Just to kind of get, you know, kind of a bit of a glow. It's it's more or less there if you if you see the the artwork is more or less there. So I'm just going to add it.
if you're going to try this this kind of painting with with acrylics my suggestion would be to uh, pick some paint retarder uh, yeah that would probably be my suggestion I'm going to use a nice brush here this is a Windsor Newton size 3 and just for the super soft blending I think I'm going to increase the blue on this side because it feels like super intense. I think there should be enough blue. It's even maybe a bit too much. We will see. <laughs> that seems like it's going to be all right. I'm just going to spread it. You see, I'm, I'm cleaning my brush basically even in between brush strokes so I can blend better. Seems to work for me. magenta on that side that has on the picture I'm going to smooth that all out there you go clean the brush smooth again clean the brush smooth again seems to work very nice for me seems to be working I'm very happy Uh, yes, that's a Kalinsky sable, yes. I don't really care. This has all this these are all brushes that I don't really care for. Uh just is what it's just what it is. part a little bit more yeah that seems about right for me I want to take a look I'm going to be careful there you go there you go this seems to be working yeah scale 75 heavy body acrylics are nice or just go to an art store and buy good quality artist heavy body acrylics got a touch of orange there oh this is not uh, this is a rosemary uh, smooshing brush it's, it's basically the same as the as the artist opus dry brushes because rosemary makes them for them uh, but this is 
so much cheaper. <laughs> so I'm not really concerned about destroying it. Also, I don't dry brush, so that's also important, I guess. And using this to literally, basically for what is intended, which is smooshing a paint and mixing it. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's almost there. A little bit of refining here and there, but for the most part, this is working very well. Very well, very nice. Really happy. I'm going to add a little bit of this white. I'm going to wipe this off. You can see what well, it's not easy with uh, fresh paint. Yeah, it's an, uh, an hour's work. This is not bad at all. I, I, hundred percent sure couldn't do this in an hour with uh, with acrylics. I can, I can assure you, I wouldn't be able to do this in an hour with acrylics. I'm going to add a bit more white to some bits and starting to add the highlights. So we have basically. A bit of white in there and I'm going to thin this down a little bit and I'm going to put some more white into this bit here so starting and I'm going to I'm going to blend this all up let me take this other brush a softer brush I have a softer brush for this this that happy with that yeah filberts or flat brushes are great for blending I have some filberts uh, ordered so they will get here uh, I just didn't I just couldn't find any in my local art store they didn't have any uh, but I have some ordered because they are amazing for blending this kind of stuff Thank you for the suggestion, by the way, Tatsy. I really appreciate it. That's a piece more blending and mixing here and there. And now I have to add, he has some kind of a bit of a glow. You can, oh, you can see it there this glow here coming from the back so i'm going to do that now just make some white some dead flesh my palette is a bit of a, of a mess but that's kind of the point Looks good. Have you thought about building a bit of impasto onto the background? I don't know whether I build it. No, I want it as flat as possible. I want it as flat as possible. As flat as possible. I don't want too much of of a texture there. Not. I'm not sure if that's going to be good for me. Need to build this ochre a little bit. This brush is not working for me, for my blending. I'm going to put this here and just clean this. Oh, yeah, much better. And of 
course the paper is falling off, as, as usual. Uh, Feng Long, will you actually be entering this for a golden demon? That's the idea. If it's in the UK, I will. I can't go to the US, sadly. That's not something that I can do. When you are a Euro European, uh, going to the US is very, very expensive. Yeah, I know a lot of people do it, uh, professional painters and so on, but that's kind of their way of making a living. It's just winning competitions and, and you know, if they win a lot of prizes, they get more more people into their patrons and to uh, buy in their lessons or going to their classes. So that's kind of their, their business model, which is fantastic, if great for them. But that's not mine, so I cannot really afford going to the US. Going to make this back here a bit lighter. Oh, thank you, Alva and Touch PK. I really appreciate it. He's saying in Spanish, um, "Good luck, Juan. You really deserve it from from the heart. You give so much to, to the community. I really appreciate that. That really means a lot to me." Uh, no, there isn't a Spanish Golden Demon. There used to be a Spanish Golden Demon uh, a very long time ago, but that's not a thing anymore. Spanish Golden Demon died a very, very, very long time ago, in fact, if I'm not mistaken. So I basically now have everything more or less defined and just need, it's just refining work. Getting all the splotches of course in the right places, to the right intensity, um, that kind of stuff. But I'm pretty happy with this right now, like stupidly happy. This is looking as close probably as I'm going to get it. <laughs> this there you go I have a pile of brushes in front of me <laughs> yeah um, there was in the 90s yeah it's, it's about about that I remember going to one because my father uh, my father works as a salesman, so he, he just basically travels around the whole country. And he had to go to Barcelona just at the same time as the Golden Demon was happening. So I asked him if I if I if I if I could go with him, which he was actually thrilled because you know parents love to spend time with their with their with their kids. And my father, being a salesman, he basically never. He, he he doesn't have any any chance during the weekdays to to spend time with us so he was thrilled i was super happy because i go i i was going to go to a golden demon and and yeah it was awesome it was really good experience for me oh we have mamicon here good to see you man Fantastic painter, go and check his channel. Uh, it's really, really good. It's one of the channels that I wanted to highlight in my channels under under 10K that you should know. 
go and check his channel. Amazing painter, and uh, I think he has several golden demons, if I'm not mistaken. Great guy. Uh, I'm really happy to see him here. Oh, hello, Mummycon. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Spanish Golden Demon was a show of strength, really. Uh, Spanish painters were have always been um, the uh, like like feared in the in the painting community because they used to form what they used to call the the Spanish team, in which they basically grouped together several amazing painters and they used to go to the painting competitions and just smash everything out. Like everyone was like blown away because they were winning absolutely everything in back in that in those in those days yeah it was and the and the spanish golden demon being like the home turf so to speak it was like kind of yeah <laughs> pretty amazing competition i don't know about about that uh, competition of, uh uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I'm not from from Madrid, so some, sometimes getting um, getting news from there is not easy. Might be, but again, going to Madrid seems like it shouldn't be anything. But going to Madrid to me, it's also pretty difficult. It's not, it's not, it's not easy for me. You know, having a kid and so on is not as easy as, as other people which don't have any any duties. I have a, I have a kid and I and I and I want to spend time with him. So going to Madrid for a full full week and all, however that that is, is not is not nice. But but I will, I'm going to the UK. Uh, this later this year to do some uh, some workshops there so expect it uh, I don't know the the dates yet but it should be around the end of May so uh, stay tuned I will announce it on Instagram I'm probably announce it here on Facebook as well so yeah pretty excited about that I've been wanting to do live classes for a very long time and I'm really excited Going to add a bit more of this night quarter. Let me of this dead flesh. This seems to be about right, so it should be like it's a, basically a yeah about 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 around there. It's been an awesome live stream, by the way, guys. Thank you for the comments. And for the support, I really appreciate it. You have been awesome. 120 people now, which has it's been quite stable at 100, 100 and something, which is amazing. I've never had so many people in one of my live streams, but that being said, most of my live streams are just me uh, answering questions or, or, or re reviewing Patreon um, supporter entries for the review. So, so yeah. Seems like I should be doing more live stream paintings. Everyone loves them. good I think I need to add a bit more of white into the center area here which is what I'm going to do right now let's check what is my my sheer brush there you go let's try to pick some of 
white without any contaminations. You're not going to see that this is off off camera on the on the on the palette, sorry. And I think I'm going to add this. Should be around around this area here. Yeah, pretty much. Around here. And here. Yeah. Thank you, Christian. Christian is a, a a close friend of mine from my local gaming group. A very nice guy. Thank you, Fen Long, by the way. Yeah, Twitch is better for doing live streams, but I don't like Twitch. I, I mean, I already have a YouTube channel, and if you're going to do live streams on Twitch, you have to be very regular. What I mean by regular is you, you have to have an, uh, a very solid uh, schedule and, and, and stand by it and you have to uh, you have to basically, yeah, that. And I'm, I'm not in the mood to do that right now, if I'm honest. I can't, I, I can't really have like a constant stream of, of, uh, of painting live streams like a program or, or anything so if i was going to do i probably go to twitch but twitch is also having a lot of issues by paying his their content creators <laughs> so yeah that's not very encouraging i don't know if it's if it's if this permeated into the painting community but i know uh people like uh like dank pots has had a lot of issues with getting paid on Twitch and he's moving to Floatplane actually, which is the uh, the live stream platform that the that Linus Tech Tips uh, made for their own content. So, so yeah, not nice. Uh, you should pay your 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 content creators what it's what they have uh, what 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 you owe them basically. It's it's their work. And if you rely on that pay on those payments to pay your rent or to feed your family and you're not having them, that's 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 pretty intense. That's pretty intense. But again, I'm I'm not an, an expert, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. But I, I follow Dankbots, and, and 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 he said that in a video, and and then he just moved all of his live stream uh, into Floatplane. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty pretty much definitive, isn't it? Oh, so Alba is from from Kingdom War Games. I, I completely missed that. I wish I could have uh, gone there. If you're going to do that again, or uh, or even if you if you want some uh, some live classes, for, uh, and if you want to have me there, send me an email, Alba, and uh, and I will and I will be very happy to 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 go there. As I said, I want to do more live classes, so. That kind of seems like a no-brainer. I love. Uh, I've been doing one-on-one -on -one tutorings, and I love it. I love it so much. It was doing one-on-one -on -one tutorings for me has been a revelation. Basically, I'm, I I love. I've I've done. It's just so rewarding when you see the the progress being made. So amazing. There you go.
Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be. I've been looking for what I, what I want to do basically is look for places uh, where I can go reg regularly to to give my 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 classes. So I know I know the place, I know the people. I don't have to be messing around with with anything. I just want to go to a place where I know I'm going to be welcomed, where I know uh, the people there, and, and you know that sort of stuff. So if I can find places that work well for me. That uh, that have a lot of people coming. I I'm I'm thinking about doing like, you know, um, tours each year onto those shops, onto those clubs or whatever, and and do like uh, classes all year round because I really I really like it. I really like it a lot. It's 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 been amazing doing the the one on one tutorial. And I want to move into also doing uh, master class. Uh, Master class, master classes. You see, I'm just basically mixing. I will attend the class. Yeah. So um, I've been talking with the people of um, of Critical Hit Games on in Liverpool, I think it is, and they are all in for it. They really want me to. They really want me there, so I might go there. I need to. I just need to sort all my schedule out and see if I'm if I'm free. But uh, yeah, I want I want for that to happen. So the, the, it, it, it's it's probably going to happen. <laughs> you know, when you want something to happen, it's 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 more likely that it's going to happen. But if I find more places to go, I will be very happy with that. Yeah, I mean, how much time has it been in? It's been like an hour and not much. We started off an hour and a half and we we more or less have this. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, on that display is going to be this guy here. So something like that. I think it's it's pretty much spot on. I'm not going to touch this a lot. I'm probably just refining with some more blending, but I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this. So, Tor Mini, how hell is good to see you live? We're just glad to see you here too. Thank you for watching. I mean, um, I guess that. Uh, as the the first installment took so much time to edit, especially to edit, it was like I'm not lying, like a couple of months since I uh, first uh, started recording and and then releasing the video. I, I wanted to do something easier for this for this round, so I went into into. I thought maybe a live stream would be a cool idea because most most people haven't seen. This done uh, like like oil. This is very organic. So having done in a live stream seems like really fits very well the medium. There you go. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, as aesthetics, that looks very cool. video you want to paint a larger backdrop for my 40k armies, then do it. Do this like. Go on, buy some oils, um, and and just and just do it. It's it's you are going to laugh. Yeah, pretty much nailed it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm really happy with that. Look at that. Pretty much what I what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted to do. I'm not I'm not going to lie. This is basically what I wanted to do. So I'm really, really excited. I'm really happy. Also, what a fantastic medium this is! Like in doing this with with acrylics is, it would probably took me double, triple the triple the time for sure, 
and it's not going to look this smooth and this blended and this with so many nuances and and so on this is yeah so i'm really i'm really happy with this i'm going to add a bit more of this brown around this part here i really like this one it was it was it was a good call like that i think it's going to be enough Yeah, I'm uh, Christian. I'm going to I'm going to try to make a replica as close as possible to the artwork that I that I can. So yeah, Let me grab brush. I think I'm going to do this. I really admire the way that you just get to it and get stuff done so well, just like that. Really impressive work. Thank you very much. Yeah, it would have been glazing for a decade if it was killing. Yeah, you have been pretty much glazing for, for for a decade, which is not what I'm. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not thrilled about that. I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have liked that. Sorry if I'm I'm just thinking like processing everything in my brain to see if what else I want to do and what not, you know. Sometimes it's it's, it's really hard to paint and talk at the same time, so excuse me for that. But yeah, yeah, that's this is this is looking pretty good to me. <laughs> really happy with that. What I will try to do now, uh, because I have time. is uh, the swirly white patterns here. So I'm just going to take white, I think. I'm just going to thin some, a bit of white. I'm just going to draw them and then blend them. So I'm going to start here in this corner because if I don't like it, I know what I, what I have to do. There you go. There's a bit of white there. And let's blend this. Yeah, that looks that looks nice. I like that. I can I can I can work with that. Yeah, I can work with that. Thank you, Dorb. You're very kind, but uh, especially for single mini, I don't think you're going to win. The single mini competition is just nuts, like absolutely nuts. Uh, yeah, I don't expect anything. So I'm going to just go spell around there.
go. A couple of touches to smooth that out. And we are starting to get, we're starting to get what I wanted. Yeah, um, a lot of people that have a lot of issues with 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 blending find oils like uh, their their solution basically because it's 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 really you don't have to think about blending blending it's just it's just happening it just happens. have to think about locking colors about all the stuff but not blending blending is not a concern so smoosh that out there we go Now I'm taking diluted paint, so if you if you are wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking diluted paint and just drawing some some faint lines. And as I have so little paint, just getting the passes on will just will just blend them. trying to be like exact here just just to be just to be true I just want to get that feeling that feel right happy Thank you. 
David T. Oh, that looks amazing. Thank you for your videos. It makes me want to hobby. That's awesome. That's why I do them. Because I want more people to paint and have fun and just enjoy this amazing hobby that we have. Because uh, we do have a very weird hobby. <laughs> but it's also, uh, at least for me, it's very fulfilling. So uh, we have Balander to asking if I have a more realistic, more like beaten up style uh, videos for NMM. Sadly, no. Uh, I really like that very stylized, very, um, you know, not realistic really NMM, but that this just looks really good to me. But if you want a more realistic style of NMM, I suggest you go and watch the videos that, uh, that uh, my, that uh, Richard Gray has Richard Gray's channel go and look for his channel and, and go and watch his videos he, he's more much more realistic than 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 what I am with 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 his NMM and they are free they are here on, on YouTube for free so go go watch them they are really worth it couple more lines and think I will leave this to dry and I will work on the base later on I want to add more to the base but I think I need to let it a bit to dry maybe works with some pigments and work with with other stuff uh, because I don't I'm not sure so I need to but I'm very happy with the with the background the background I think it's looking awesome it's very shiny because it's it's fresh obviously but I'm really, I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to do some more lines here. On this side.
very happy. Look at that. I think personally that looks very good. I think that looks really close to the to the artwork. I'm going to add a bit more darker blue here on this side. What I'm going to do now is probably go with a clean brush looking for any dust speckles and stuff like that. Remove them before it dries. Uh, because I don't want to deal with that afterwards. <laughs> and, and just be sure everything is nice and clean. Try this. We don't want just me. Go looking for dust. Sorry if you see my my ugly head in the shot, but I need to get close to see all these teeny tiny dust particles and remove them. <clears throat> so I think that's it, guys. I think I think this is. Well, as good as I'm going to get this, I'm really happy with this. Really excited about about how this has uh, gone. Look at this. This is the artwork. Whoop. There you go. And this is the final result. Let me see if I can put the picture on the screen. Wait, wait a second. I'm going to try to be clever. I think we have done it. Oh no, this is this not the good one. Sorry, this is the super desaturated one. This is the one. There you go. There you go. Look at me being all clever. Look at that. I think that's pretty close, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's not that's not bad at all. very happy with this uh, I'm going probably once this is dry make it lighter I'm seeing I now probably need a bit more white well not now I think we can do it now Sh shall we I think I think we should yeah it's not as bright in the picture that I have here so I'm not going to go like overboard because once printed uh, it's very different and you want to but I'm going to Maybe add a bit more just fucking dust everywhere. Let's add a bit more white into this. I think I'm going to increase the, the the brightness of this a little bit, but just a little bit. Don't want to one don't want to overdo this too much.
bit better now. I'm happy. Yeah, I think we did a very good job here. I'm very happy with this. I'm going to add a bit more. Yeah, there you go. That's that's it around this part, which I wasn't really happy. But you can see how easily it's done with oils. You can just go over and blend it and go over and blend it. So it's just amazing. Again, and remember, this was my first time using oils <laughs> for painting. So, I mean, like, obviously, I, I know how to how to paint. So it's not like I haven't painted anything ever, but a steel, pretty nice. Uh, what brand of paint, oil paints I'm using? I'm using Abteilung, Abteilung 502. Just because they are very cheap in comparison to, to artist paints. They come in a smaller size, which it's more than enough that you would ever need uh, for your miniatures. So buying a, like a massive tube, it kind of feels like a waste for me, if you ask me. So this, this, this is very convenient format. And uh, yeah, they dry faster apparently, which I don't know if it's true because I haven't the first time using them, but they have technically, at least they say they have less oils in them, so they dry faster. Yeah, obviously this is more desaturated due to, well, that being a, a JPEG and this being the real life, but I'm really happy with it. Now make <laughs> make a big tree. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the original, the original artwork was much bigger, so more room for details. You fit the replica into such a small place. Thing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, probably this was painted quite quite big. It's also a digital painting, so it's not the same. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to leave this to dry and see how uh, how it dries and and yeah and, and, and yeah I don't want this also uh, I didn't want this to make this like super saturated and super bright because you don't want that on your minis it can be a bit jarring if you oversaturate everything because I will saturate the mini of course a bit more than the background, so we have. Uh, so we have. So so it stands out basically from it. Oops, sorry, <laughs> that in the middle. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, the 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 original artwork when you see it uh, closer, it's it's very clear that it was digital painted, digi digitally painted. Which is which is which is okay, by the way. I'm not trying to say it's it's bad or anything. Digital painting is as good as normal painting to me. Same as as through the sculpting, like digitally sculpting, it's it's, it's as difficult and as appropriate as a uh, real like uh, putty sculpting. So it's just a different medium. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. I think I'm going to leave it here. So thank you all very much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one, 
I will finish this base uh, with some pigments and probably some acrylic washes and so on once all of this is dry. But for the main, but for the main uh, sketch, I think this is, was pretty good. I'm really happy with it. So, as I said, I really hope you have uh, liked this video. I really hope you appreciated uh, this fun session that we had two hours from now. I think it's time to end it. So. See you in the next one, guys.